I'm here with artistic legend Jim Steranko. You are a hero of mine, sir. I've loved this image in particular, this Indiana Jones print for all of my life, pretty much. So it's incredible to meet you first time in person here. Now, Jim, tell us about your start in, in comic books and working with Stan Lee back in the 60s. Actually, I just walked in off the street. I had never met Stan before, and I, I had sold a comic book to Tower, Tower Comics. Those are the guys who published Thunder Agents. My friend Wally Wood got me an appointment with the, uh, with the publisher. He liked my work. And I got into a fight, a little altercation with the art director and walked out of that place. And ultimately, that afternoon was, was one of the most action-packed because I had offers from three companies and I finally sold that project to Paramount Pictures. And I had 15 minutes left, quarter to five, <laughs> to get into trouble. So I took a cab over to Marvel, and I showed Stan my work, and he said these two famous words changed my career. Maybe changed a lot. He said, pick one. And what he meant was, pick any character, any comic book on the wall behind him. And I picked that guy, the man with the eye patch and the cigar. You know, all these heroes have masks and capes. I had to pick a guy with a cigar. <laughs> And you know the rest is history. <laughs> well, how does it feel now that, uh, you know, obviously Marvel is blowing up across all kinds of media. The movies are huge, huge hits. But you can see your thumbprints on the look and feel of these Marvel movies. Listen, I think that, that CGI has finally put comic books on the map. Couldn't be done very well before this. But now that we have the technology, we can show comic book characters in the environments and doing the actions that they were born to do. So now is the time. How do I feel about it? I love it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, how did you uh, transition from comic books and some of the visual stuff that you were doing to working with the movie studios and working on concept art? Or were you always doing all of that at the same time? I I've always been engaged in, in numerous things along the way. When I got into comics, I was an art director in an ad agency, full-time job. I was a rock and roller. I played three to five nights a week in the tri-state area, in the East Coast. And then I got a third job, a comic book a month. So I've always been engaged in multimedia enterprises. And since I was a kid, I've loved film so much. So it was a natural thing. And particularly because so many people in power believe it or not, grew up reading comic books. And some of them, my comic books. So it was a natural for me to connect with those guys along the way. Awesome. Simple when you know how, huh? Awesome. Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.